What's up, homies? How we doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far, fantastic week. You know the deal by now. I just came back from a really nice grocery shop and I had thought that I want to share my grocery tips, what I usually get, how I look at a grocery shop, and I'm going to show you my shop. Honestly, grocery shopping is one of my favorite things to do. I leave my phone in the car, I'm in my zone, I'm looking at my food, I'm looking what I want, I'm checking the ingredients. Grocery shopping for me, very relaxing, puts me in the present moment, and I enjoy it. So I'm gonna share a couple tips with you, enjoy the video. So, my first tip for you is never ever go to the grocery store when you're hungry. When you're hungry, you obviously might have some cravings and you might pick some things out that are not in alignment with your goals. And number one rule for clean eating and eating clean, eating well, is don't have things in your house that you don't want to eat, that aren't aligned with your goals. Yes, of course, you can have you know, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about it. I buy 70% dark chocolate, and sometimes when I want something sweet, I eat it. I don't restrict myself, I don't fully restrict myself, but I'm not gonna go buy Reese's and keep it in my house. The second tip for you is always shop on the perimeter, on the outside of the supermarket. Why? Because you're gonna hit your produce, your vegetables and your fruits, meats, your fish, your dairy, if you eat that stuff, most of the stuff that's in the middle of the supermarket is processed and packaged. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you all the vegetables that I get when I go to the supermarket. So like I always talk about, most important thing is you build your meal off vegetables. You wanna have at least two to three cups, two to three servings of vegetables in each meal. Of course, unless you're eating them famous Ricky protein pancakes. But other than that, you wanna build your meal off vegetables. So what I do is I get a lot of cucumbers, I get tomatoes, I get radishes, I get small red sweet peppers, broccoli, spinach, and some sprouts. All this stuff, absolutely fantastic for you. The amount of micronutrients and vitamins within these foods is unbelievable. It's unheard of helps you recover quickly, helps you feel good, helps you look healthy. That's what it's all about. So the next most important thing in your diet is your proteins. So I'm gonna go over what I think about, what I get when I'm buying my proteins. Like I always talk about, I get organic eggs. I stay away from the other bullshit. If you really wanna test this out, get some organic eggs, get some real eggs, and look at the difference between the yolk. Next thing I love to get is fish either salmon, whitefish, tilapia, cod, whatever it is, fantastic sources of omega. Threes, very, very good for inflammation, high in protein, high in good fat. That's what it's all about. Next thing I get, which I don't eat too often, chicken breast. I don't eat it too often in Israel because I can't find organic. The organic chicken here is very, very, very expensive. So generally I stick with a lot of fish, a lot of eggs, but this chicken is pretty good, stays away from any grains, any corn, doesn't eat that stuff. Something that's very interesting is you gotta also think about what your animal eats. So if your animal is eating bad foods, grains, corn, things like this, and you're eating the animal, you're getting that as well. So that's something you gotta think about. Next thing, I got yogurt, staple in my diet. You guys see how I eat it on everything, omelets, pancakes, I, I, I toss it in everything, it's fantastic. Next thing, I don't eat this too often. I really don't eat it a lot because it hurts my stomach, so I stay away from most dairy. But I put this in my protein pancakes. So like I talk about, I'm transparent. I wanna show you everything I get. Next thing, goat's natural cheese. Also dairy, but fantastic for you. It's organic, doesn't hurt my stomach at all. I like to add it to salads. I like to add it to omelets. And like I always talk about, the most important thing is you find what works for you. You can take these tips from me, you can take these tips from men's health, women's health, whoever it is, football, fitness, whoever it is. The most important thing is eat the food and see how it makes you feel. The food makes you feel bad, cut it out. 
If, it, if you eat it and it makes you feel good, keep eating it. And that's what I'm about. This yogurt, it obviously has dairy, but it doesn't hurt my stomach. It makes me feel good. The ghost natural cheese makes me feel good. The cottage cheese, if I have too much of it, hurts my stomach and I feel too heavy. So I generally stay away from it. So next thing I want to talk about is my carbohydrates. Brought my tea along, some ginger lemon, cheers. All you English lads, I know you love tea. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on TikTok, if you follow me here on YouTube, if you haven't, you better go follow. I'll drop the link in the description. As you know, my favorite source of carbs, sweet potatoes. Fantastic, makes me feel so good. Doesn't make me feel bloated, I love them. Next thing, bananas. Don't eat a lot of them, but I chuck them in my banana pancakes, my protein pancakes, so key ingredient. If I eat fruit, generally it's gonna be berries. So I have blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and then pomegranate seeds. This stuff makes me feel very good. Doesn't make me feel too heavy, doesn't make me feel bloated. Sometimes when I eat other fruit, melons, pineapple, mango, things like this, it makes me feel bloated, doesn't make me feel good. And like I said before, you need to see what makes you feel good and what makes and what doesn't make you feel good. Everyone has a different reaction to different foods. Then I also like to have these organic figs in the house. It's about 120 calories in one little pack. Good source of quick carbohydrates. So I eat this sometimes in place of dates, before training sessions, and before matches. So next thing I want to talk about are my fats. Essential in your diet, but as an athlete, as a footballer, you don't need as many fats as you think. Your diet should be comprised mostly of carbohydrates, protein, and like I talked about, a lot of vegetables. You obviously need some fats in your diet. I don't count my calories, I don't count my macros. So I use this stuff. I, don't, I use this stuff sparingly, I don't use it a lot. Like I said, in eggs you got good quality fat. In salmon you got good quality fat. My other sources of fat, I'm sure you've all been waiting for this. Dark chocolate. Generally, I look for the 85% or the 75, the 72%. They didn't have it, so I got the 70%. This is something I have sometimes after dinner if I want something sweet. I don't generally have it after lunch because I don't like feeling, you know, it doesn't make me feel bad, but it doesn't make me feel great where I want to eat it during the day. So a little nighttime snack, 100, 150 calories of this. Maybe it's, you know, depending on the size, about three to six squares, satisfies me nicely. And dark chocolate is pretty good for you, but obviously we want to keep it minimal. Next thing, very, very important, extra virgin olive oil. Fantastic on salads. And yeah, that's what I use it for, I use it on salads. Then this is something that they have in Israel, that they do have in the US and other parts of the world, but very famous in Israel and other me Middle Eastern countries, tahini, tahini, very hard to say, Americans say tahini, I try to say tahini, but I'm working on it. Other thing we got, peanut butter, I like to drizzle this sometimes on my acai bowls, on my pancakes, and then the last thing we got, obviously protein as well, are sardines. So next thing we got, last thing I'm going to talk to you about is some miscellaneous stuff, we got unsweetened almond milk. We got chamomile tea, love this before sleep. Lemon and ginger tea, like to drink this during the day. And sometimes I'll add 100% raw organic honey, maybe a little, little, little teaspoon. And then you guys know me, I'm a big, big coffee man. They got Starbucks out here, little Nespresso capsules, capsules, love this stuff. And then we got tomato sauce. So, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you saw how I think about shopping and how you should kind of organize your grocery shop because that's what it's all about. Go in there, enjoy yourself, let your mind go, let your mind loose, and focus on what you want to fuel you throughout the week to help you perform well, to help you feel good, to help you look good, and to help you move good. As always, if you enjoyed the video, I would really, really appreciate if you could click that like button. really helps me out, really helps the channel, really helps the channel grow so I can help other footballers, other athletes, and other humans try to hit that next level, because that's what it's all about. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, 
turn that notification bell on so you can see when I drop these gem videos. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. That's about it. Have a good rest of the day. You know where to reach me if you need my help. Deuces. Oh,